Hello my friends from DCA. It's my very first time here at the Oogie Boogie Bash. Things are about to start and I'm pre-party uh, pre lining up for the Kingdom Hearts character. So I invite you to come along. Let's go explore my first time here at Oogie Boogie's. So the Kingdom Hearts characters are delayed. So I'm going here to check out to see how Bruno's line is. Unfortunately, they didn't warn us too ahead of time. So I think the line for Bruno is actually quite long here. So unfortunately, this weather really donked things up. The Kingdom Hearts characters that we were hoping to pre-party meet, they finally just came out at 6.50, which if you know, if you're pre-party meeting them, you're hoping to meet them a little after six. Worth it? Yes, it was worth it. <laughs> All right, so we didn't get to do much in this first hour, but at least you got to meet King Mickey, which is awesome. And I, I don't know if everybody noticed, but she actually showed King Mickey her Kingdom Hearts tattoo right there, which is pretty awesome. It was a moment. It was. It looked like a moment. I, I couldn't hear it really, but I saw it, and it, it seemed pretty significant. So I'm glad at least we got that. But next up, we need to see the uh, the master of ceremonies, the host himself, Oogie Boogie. Hopefully his his room isn't completely slammed. But Looks like the rain and all the different character delays have caused quite a ripple effect here. And this is the end of the line for the Oogie Trail. This room looks amazing. And, and there he is himself. I don't know what kind of lighting they have on him, but it looks amazing. Is it just black light? It couldn't be that simple, could it? Anyone seen that Sandy Claus around? Well, if you do, tell him that Mr. Oogie Boogie is looking for him. Well, well, you're really something, aren't you? Yes, sir. I'm your biggest fan. a lot more folks to scare and so little time to scare them all right that was wonderful i don't know how they cue things up or do anything like that but man the lighting in there was amazing his set was really good i didn't notice what kind of candy they were giving out did you say there were graham crackers yeah. shaped as bugs that's pretty awesome um, i'm not picking up any candy the last thing i need is more sugar i've had so much sugar to last me you know a while just spending like a, a weekend around disney so i think up next though because the, uh, what's it called, the first parade is about to come by. I think we're gonna try to sneak over to the Villains Grove. I think Maleficent's on the way there. So we just came from that away, and I was admiring that they added like little D23 things to the projections here. I do love just the vibe here. These big purple trees, like the lights that they have on there. There's not too much over there actually now. I'm actually surprised. It's literally just this building, isn't it? Wow, I feel silly now, because I really wanted to stop and be like, ooh, ooh, ah, uh ah, -uh, but yeah, huh. Okay, well, there's your special D23 edition. No way, it's Ping. Ping, what are you doing at the mountain? Don't you have to save China? And then the Blue Fairy. I don't think I've ever seen the Blue Fairy in person before. Wow, what a moment. To harvest you. Are we harvesting anything tonight that I should know about? Any secrets? So. Yes, you're on my team. I like that idea. <laughs> yes, child, come forward, don't fear. Stand by the skin. I see your dragon form. Oh. Wouldn't you like to? <laughs> Can't always get what we want, do we? No, no. Yes, sometimes that happens. Sometimes. Closer to midnight. If the timing is right. And I get really angry. Oh man, here we go. The Redwood Creek Villains Grove. My first time here, I'm so excited for this. Who's the first area supposed to be? Oh, this is the Hunchback's area. Holy smokes. Wait, what's all the like weird wispy stuff going on in there? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Oh, I hear the songs. The Bells of Notre Dame. I 
see some fire here. Could this be anything? I know they like to put projection somewhere. No? We lost it. He's, I don't know where he shows up. There's some wisps or something like that back there. I don't know. Okay, but that was definitely... I heard the song. I heard the song. Okay, how about these vines over here? Oh, who's back there? Maleficent, perhaps? Oh, that's definitely Maleficent with the vines. Oh, it makes sense now. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this area. Like, I was here in April. I can't believe how well they transformed this area. Holy smokes. Oh, this is a really cool effect. I don't know how they do it, but I'm guessing we're going to see some more Alice in Wonderland stuff because we just saw the Cheshire Cat before. Sadly, it's getting a little backed up in this area with the, uh, I think this is the Painting the Roses Red, the, the Queen area, but mm, yeah, there's a lot of people in here. It is really beautiful back there, though. You can see it turn from red to white. So it's, you know, painted the roses red. And yeah, it is quite beautiful. And I guess because of this little part here, we're gonna move on over this way. I'm guessing people have come to a stop. I'm not gonna zoom in on it, but it's back there, she back there. It's cool. There's still a whole lot to explore, right? Oh no, there, we don't go over, across any weird bridges, do we? Maybe. Ooh, we do get this cool look over. I hear, um, be prepared. And this cool overlook of the area down there. Oh my goodness, was that fire? Or like fake fire? It looks like fire though, it's fog. But still, that looked awesome. I don't know, so far this has been amazing. And I cannot wait to see what's left because there's a couple of really other cool things, especially at the end. And I think the exit is something that everybody makes uh, a big deal about. But right now we're in, I guess, the scar area. <laughs> a rock slide, okay. That's actually part of the regular thing. Okay, and we're at a stop again. People are stopping to take photos and stuff. Oh dear. All right, we're waiting for them. Everyone stopped with that effect over there. Wow. It's just lighting and fog and it looks amazing. All right, I'm trying to see what the holdup is. Oh, we all go over this tiny little area here. Woo, that is amazing. I love that effect. I need to remember that that's how they do this. Whoa. We made it past the hyenas, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, we really haven't moved in the last five or ten minutes. All right, I hear friends from the other side. I can only mean one thing. It's the Shadow Man, Dr. Facilier. Oh, that's awesome. All right, here we go. Even the lighting in these stairs look amazing. Gosh. Uh-oh. This is definitely where the evil queen hangs out. Holy smokes.
these lights. Oh my gosh. What? This makes the trees look like they're in motion. This is blowing my mind here. It is so beautiful in here. The way that these trees are lit and they're like gently moving the projections while the trees kind of sway in the wind. This log over here is getting super beautified. And then on the way out with all of these like flickering candlelit looking lights in the trees, we have this crazy log that we have to go through that's all backlit. Holy smokes, what a way to finish this. So that was pretty dang amazing. And it didn't take too long. I think while you're in there, like you don't realize it, it was maybe like 20 minutes at most, which wasn't too bad, 20 minutes. Uh, but it, it's kind of rough in there when things come to a full stop. I don't even really understand why we got stopped. Uh, there were some stairs there that could have thrown things off for a little bit and trying to get people around, you know, with the whole accessibility thing of getting ECVs around and getting through them through the trail. That probably could have caused some trouble. But anyway, those projections, whoever designed that, like, that was some top tier work. I thought it was just amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm going through it a little quick because there's just little to no weight, but they, there is a lot of stuff here, like, you know, music and, and projections and lighting. And like, this is really elaborate. I feel bad that there's nobody, not many people here. They're all like right there hanging out with her, which I don't blame them. And here she is. Let's zoom on in and see what she's got going on. But I'm glad that she does have a nice little group here. Oh, she's devious. Someone's looking ageless today. Obviously. You don't sing to a flower for hundreds of years for nothing. <laughs> I'm super jealous there that the three caballeros are meeting Bruno, but unfortunately his line is still pretty long, so I think we're gonna go check out Ernesto's line. And the trick or treat trails with the villains are a lot easier to get through than these uh, straight meet and greets. So we're here in line for the Ernesto treat trail. However, they gave him this like weird little nook here that I remember going into. It had like two food booths in it in April. I'm surprised he didn't get like a bigger space all to himself where more people could see him while they were in line. So it's kind of tough here. Remember me, though I have to travel far, remember me. Each time you hear a sad guitar, know that I'm with you the only way that I can be. Until you're in my arms again Remember Okay, holy smokes. That was just the best one of the tree trails. The best makeup job, costume, whatever you want to call it. The best everything that's going on. And we caught that at like... Uh, what, what time was it when we caught that? Because that was like the perfect time. There was a lull in the line and everything. Yeah. Um, we caught that right before Is it. it right now? Like right now, it's going all the way towards Web Slingers, all the way down here. So I'm not sure what we did right there, but we got very lucky. We got lucky. But, but yeah, the other thing is just how much energy that person had, the whoever's, you know, how much energy Ernesto had was like just top tier. Like the way he talked and ad lib and everything, you could tell. He's a villain and he has these undercurrents of just uneasy types of villainy. But uh, as a whole then, he goes into music and you can't help but cheer him on. It's just, ah, uh, that was so good. That was, that was bringing this day up and elevating it because it started off, whew, real bad. Okay, if you saw the line all the way over by the Cars Land entrance, this, it's, it's moving really quick. So we're just going and going and getting candy and going. I think it'll slow down a lot more inside her area. Uh, but uh, they're trying to tell us to go around in two different sides, but constantly merging with crowds that aren't being told to merge, it's been rough. 
Uh oh, looks like they're playing her song. Step inside here and <laughs> yeah, it was her all along. She killed the dog. You dog murderer. Probably the worst villain for that. Anticipated, but it was done like that that character was sharp and on top of it and just I loved it uh, Very very interesting though like how they set that up is very difficult to get like even close to do a photo or anything like that So that's kind of unfortunate the lighting could have been a lot better But in general still a lot of fun to see a character like that just kind of doing her thing There is supposed to be supposedly a rumor that zombie cap is out but he's been out so sporadically that it's been tough to even be like, oh, what a great D23 bonus, because he's just sort of there. I don't know, and you, and you can't predict it. He's not on any sort of schedule. So I think we're gonna do another tree trail and kind of check in again and see if he'll come back out. All right, we heard rumors that there might be a zombie cap, actually. I don't know if Jamie can corroborate that, but I don't know, somebody else is coming out. <laughs> So, what's up? Oh, why? Why up there? I don't know. Oh, I was hoping it'd be down here. Me too. Yeah. Yes, they, they dispersed us 10 feet away. I did get to see Zombie Cat, but unfortunately when it was my turn to jump up and actually take a photo, I nobody would, would help me out, even though I helped a couple of people take their photos. And then I got pushed out, it was like three or four people all up right up against the, the chain or whatever, so they were as close as you could get to Zombie Cat, but I got pushed out. They asked me to keep walking, keep moving, and then it just, it was not a positive experience whatsoever in terms of like, just the mayhem. Y'all Disney fans are just savages when it comes to these meet and greets. Like, y'all want something, you don't care, you push. I've never it's, seen anything like It that. was mayhem. Like, I have just, I'm impressed. Disappointed and impressed. But anyway, I think we have two more tree trails here. Like, we just walked over in this Hollywood land area. And Mim, I believe, is one of them that's the closest here. So let's go, let's go see how she's doing. of course. But I'm afraid if I were to transform, Merlin might show up. And we can't have that, my dear, can we? But, but you can, you can 
scare him off. Why, yes, my dear, but I told Oogie Boogie himself that there'd be no wizard's duel at the party. Oh. I so know, you don't, my you, dear. And you don't break your promises. No, I don't break promises, but I do break rules. <laughs> but I'm not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. Don't stare at me. I didn't cheat. I want Merritt Square. Merlin's a cheater. He's a soothsayer. Do you know what a soothsayer is? Exactly, nobody cares what a soothsayer is because it doesn't have magic. Ugh, you humans are all the same. So Madame Mim was pretty great. Uh, afterwards, uh, you know, talking a little bit with her, if you hear some noises, it's the Disneyland fireworks. Uh, decided to check on some other witches, Sanderson sisters here, which still have like an hour, hour and a half wait, which I don't know how you dedicate most of your night to, or like a good chunk of it, a quarter of it, a fifth of it, to that meet and greet, but there's a clip of it right there. Uh, but what is nearby is this treat trail with uh, Cruella. So let's go see how she's doing. And it's the Cruella from the movie from Disney Plus, not from 101 Dalmatians. Unfortunately, Cruella was kind of just on her way out when we were rolling up there. It was really nice. The set was super elaborate with all the screens, and I actually did watch the, the Cruella movie on there, which was noticeably long, if I remember right, but it had a lot of cool style, and like the hair and the costume that they did for Cruella here in the tree trail was really cool. Um, just a lot of detail. It would look very authentic, very, very accurate. Uh, I'm not sure what else to say, but other than when the fireworks were going off, she was very upset, very irate, and maybe that's why she stepped off. She was like, I didn't order any fireworks, and was just, in general, just really on point with her interactions with everybody. And that is kind of been the summary of tonight, is like, everybody that was on the treat trails were just nailing it. I don't know about you, but did you have a favorite treat trail so far? If Ernestos wasn't so crowded, he would be my favorite. Yes. Um, but I think interaction-wise, Madame Mim like knocked it out of the park. Mm -hmm. She was so fun and so animated, it was great. Yes, and she really was uh, one of my favorites because she kind of captured that old school Disney energy somehow. And I, it, it, she felt like one of those types of characters just come to life. Uh, but Ernesto, if he wasn't such a, like, a mosh pit, it would have been a little more enjoyable. It was short, fun. I was really surprised though how quiet it was when Ichabod and, and the horsemen came out. It was just like you could hear a pin drop. It was odd. But thankfully, when the people who clean up after the horse came by, there was lots of hooting and hollering. I 
I love to see that. So right now we're dealing with about a half hour left and unfortunately they already capped Bruno. I wish they had taken into consideration that basically the party started an hour late due to the weather, but what you gonna do? It's how Disney do. <laughs> so I think we're gonna try to visit Sid and maybe Dr. Facilier if there's time. There's been other regular character meet and greets like Bruno that I had really wanted to do, but um, just that that's uh, it's not in the plan for tonight. This wasn't meant to be. All right, here we go. Last one. You don't want any candy? Oh my goodness. Are you, are you sure? Think of all the kids that don't have candy. You could give it out to them. Well, that's all right. I'll just take my sister Candace's candy. That's why I love Halloween. I get my candy and I get Candace's candy all the time. Hi. How's it going? What's the uh, that guy's name over there with the big arms? This one? Yeah. He's the strongest quack alive. <laughs> He's one of my very first operations. He's got two legs, but I think he even looks more. The way he hops down is higher than anybody. that Sid me was or tree trail was like one of my favorite ones of the night like that guy was just the energy he brought on it as a whole all the villains all the characters tonight their energy was great the energy that was unfortunate was kind of like that Disney chaotic like zero communication figure it out on the fly type of stuff that we get from the company and then the fan energy is always rough the energy of like the pushing and shoving that happened when I was trying to meet Zombie Cap. The just general like weirdness with getting through the Villains Grove and like people just being weird today. Like I, it's just like there's some different styles of, of Disney fans, and I think I encountered all of them tonight. You know, wild, wild stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you just needed to sniff some trash that kind of centers yourself. Wusa, trash. You should come out with a candle. Candle, trash candle. A whole trash line. Trash air freshener, the whole thing. There's got to be a market out there for it, right? Maybe. <laughs> so behind me, this way, there is a line for the Villains Grove, but it is happening like super late. I'm shocked. Because I didn't think they, they would, like, I thought they would cap it before 11 hit, but instead, people are getting in line just before 11, and then there's still a 45 minute wait to get into the Grove, which I don't think I would want to do. However, if you were really trying to go hard with the character meets, then yeah, you should probably do that, because it would give you more time to go do some meet and greets and stuff. However, I, as I, after I did Sid, I ran into Emil from Ratatouille, a character who I never got to meet. I tried back in like 2018 or something like that, back when he was out for Mickey's 90th birthday, and I just mistimed it every time. And so here I got to meet him, and he like immediately went for the candy and like thought it was trash and got really excited, and I felt bad, but we had to tell him it wasn't. Um, and, and now we, we know that he's a trash hero, apparently. That happened off the blog, but regardless, got that fun little meet and greet at the end. So unfortunately, I hear the announcements. The park is closed, which means Oogie Boogie Bash is officially over. And apparently, when the night is over, that means the Carthay Circle starts falling to pieces. Wow. Oh my goodness. And I just noticed all the way up there are some bats coming out of the windows. Wow, this is kind of intense. Oh, that's that's not good. Oh, oh, it's it's just falling to pieces. Oh, and there's some bats. Uh huh. I have done my first oogie boogies. This is your what? My second. All right. Your thoughts from previous experiences? Um, this year, I don't know if it's because it was 
D23 season, but it was just like intense. Everything felt more congested, busier, uh, a lot harder to manage. So I don't know, I would probably suggest a weekday going forward. Or just not a D23 day? Not a D23 day. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. too much. Like I was saying, I discovered, experienced all of the worst types of Disney fans that you can encounter. A lot of uh, flippers, a lot of like the people who are hardcore into the characters and do so, like collect their characters in a very like not so savory way where they like save spots for each other and stuff like it was just stuff like that most of the night and it was just a rough start in general because of the rain and that delayed all the characters and the event being a character heavy event it just like i don't know it sucks to not be communicated with like effectively by a company that you're giving money to and hoping to be able to have certain types of experiences so like expectations were here and the delivery was at the bottom i will probably not never do like a d23 type of event like this again i want to come back when it's just you know a little more relaxed a little more chill and everyone's just vibing and having a good time i would say that the vibe here just weird mood the whole night right vibes were, were not good tonight we still had fun but vibes mm -hmm. were just they could have been yeah. better but it was on us to, to, you know, have a good time. They weren't helping at all. Like, they were just, like, working against us even, I would say. But either way, I would say, like I said before, all of the characters were doing an amazing job. Entertainment was just cleaning it up. Uh, there's just organizational stuff and all of that that I would nitpick at and say that could be improved. Uh, especially with, with um, that zombie cap meet and greet. That was probably the worst experience of the evening for me. Anyway, guys, do you have anything else you'd like to add before we say goodbye? Um, I had a good time. Even though it was rough, I still had fun. So, there's that. <laughs> Alright, and that's kind of all my thoughts about the event. I'm still glad I did it, but now you know. Maybe avoid the, the events that get tagged on to an even bigger event. <laughs> all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye. Bye.